Hi, I'm Dave Carger. Thanks for joining me today on TCM. Up next, Gene Simmons and Robert Mitchum star in a tense film noir directed and produced by Otto Preminger. It's Angel Face, released by RKO in 1953. The title refers to Gene Simmons' character, Diane Tremaine, the daughter of a wealthy businessman who seems perfectly lovely and innocent. But beneath her angelic exterior, there's a devilish streak, which becomes deadly when she sets her sights on the family's new chauffeur, played by Robert Mitchum. Gene Simmons made this film in Hollywood after becoming a star a few years earlier in her native England. She was only 19 years old when she starred opposite Laurence Olivier in his 1948 adaptation of Hamlet, which earned her an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress. In England, she fell in love with fellow movie star Stuart Granger, and she followed him to Hollywood when he signed with MGM. Unfortunately, Gene Simmons' contract was bought without her consent by Howard Hughes, who forced her to work with him at RKO. Simmons did everything she could to break free from Hughes, including taking him to court, and she managed to get the contract term reduced. She made four pictures for RKO, and they had to be made in a limited time frame so that Hughes couldn't drag it out indefinitely. She shot the last three films back-to-back -back in the spring and summer of 1952. Angel Face was the second, and Hughes was determined to make the experience miserable for her. To that end, he hired a director who had a reputation for being nasty to younger actresses, Otto Preminger. Preminger lived up to this reputation, but Simmons had a fierce advocate in her leading man, Robert Mitchum. I'll tell you more about that after you see the film. From 1953, here is Gene Simmons giving a typically brilliant performance, along with Robert Mitchum, Mona Freeman, and Herbert Marshall in Angel Face. The ending of Angel Face miraculously made it past the censors in 1953, since the production code had strict rules prohibiting anything on screen that would suggest suicide. This wasn't the first or last time that director-producer Otto Preminger would push the limits of the Hollywood production code. Throughout the 1950s, he made other provocative films that defied the censors, including The Moon is Blue, also released in 1953, The Man with the Golden Arm, and Anatomy of a Murder. Following orders from RKO studio boss Howard Hughes, Preminger put his leading lady in Angel Face, Gene Simmons, through the ringer during production. Hughes had it in for Simmons, and he expected Preminger to do all that he could to make her miserable on the set. During one scene, when Robert Mitchum had to slap Simmons, Preminger ordered take after take, until Mitchum refused to keep going and instead walked up to Preminger and slapped him in Simmons' defense. Accounts vary, though, from Mitchum almost slapping Preminger to Mitchum punching Preminger in the nose. Whatever happened, it didn't deter Preminger from working with Mitchum again one year later on River of No Return. Up next, Van Heflin, Aldo Ray, and Raymond Massey star in a World War II drama from 1955. Next on TCM, Battle Cry, then A Matter of Life and Death, and later, Wings of Desire. We're never burned out on TCM.